If you've passed on attending a fun fly, especially one at another RC club, you might be making a mistake. I remember as a new RC pilot, it took me a while to gather up my courage to sign up for a fun fly held away from my home club field. The result was that I missed some great opportunities to enjoy some different flying fields and to get to know some interesting people. In this video, we're going to take a look at a smaller fun fly hosted by the Central Arizona Modelers at their beautiful field near Sedona, Arizona, called the mayfly. A flying buddy and I took my Class C motorhome up to take advantage of the beautiful setting and great weather forecast for this weekend event. We weren't alone. As a yearly event, this fun fly drew over a dozen travel trailers and motorhomes, many of which were owned by out-of-town visitors. The fact is that many of the AMA sanctioned events are fun flies. As the name suggests, all of the flying is just for fun. While there may be some light-hearted games for prizes such as an egg drop or spot landing event, most of the day is just for open flying. I had the chance to sit down and chat with the club president and ask him about the Mayfly. So well, tell me a little bit about the Central Arizona Modelers. Well, first off, my name is Hal Jordan. I'm currently the president. I've been president for several years now. And CAM, Central Arizona Modelers, was founded in 1979. We have a, a, a parcel of land on Coconino National Forest that we have a permit with the Forest Service to have our facility. The land was actually an old landfill when it was uh, founded and they gave us a permit so that we could put in, the club then could put in the runway. So we've been here for for almost 40 years. And this is a nice facility. It's compact, multi-level. Yeah. It's yeah. just really beautiful. The, the spectator area sits higher than the runway, which makes the spectator visibility really nice. And the runway is compacted uh, clay. We have a couple of old highway rollers that when the ground is wet, we roll the runway and it is hard after it's been, uh, been compacted. This weekend we're having our annual Mayfly event, which is our annual fundraiser. It's, uh, it went on for 24 years and then took about an eight year gap and now this is our sixth year of revitalizing it. And so far we've got uh, about just short of 50 pilots have visited, signed and registered for this one. But we have really good weather this weekend. It's beautiful this morning, holy moly. Yeah, there's almost no wind at all this morning and typically at our field, which runs almost north-south, the, uh, the prevailing winds come from the south and so it, it makes a pretty consistent flight pattern for our, for our club members. We're about, what, 15 miles south of Sedona and it, about 10 miles north of Cottonwood in Arizona? Basically, yes. We're pretty much basically halfway between them. We're almost exactly halfway between the Sedona and Cottonwood airports. So we don't, we don't have some of the flight restrictions that some of the other clubs in the uh, Arizona area have. We have no ceiling and no sound requirements that other clubs have. So a lot of people like to come fly with us because then they can bring a, a larger motor, noisier motor airplane. Yeah. And, and some of our guys like to fly gliders. Yeah, I had a glider out yesterday because I can never get it above about 300 to 400 feet. Yeah. And having it out here where there's no limit was kind of fun. And kind of scary too to see it that small in the sky.
Visitors are always welcome at camp. Any AMA member can come visit us. No charge, no invitation. Just come out and enjoy Central Arizona Waters. Well, thanks for visiting with me. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jim. The registration fee included a taco bar on Friday night and the campers and many club members joined together on Saturday evening for a potluck supper. No one had an excuse for leaving hungry. Lots of great food and time to get to know new friends. There were a bunch of models at the Fun Fly, both large and small, as well as gas, glow, and electric. In the desert southwest, Fun Fly season is just about over due to the heat. But in most of the country, summer fun flies are just starting. If you've been thinking about hitting the road to participate in a nearby event, all I can say is, do it! If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below and be sure to subscribe to the RC Plain Views channel Click on the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.